And you are now rocking with the best Educated melanin, she beautiful and blessed Really one of them, but she ain't nothing like the rest I'm talking queen vibes, wife, energy ain't nothing less Why you so good to me, baby, that's the question You look so good to me, you never got a question They love it how we do it, how we pull up, we be flexing They ain't gotta like it, but oh yes, they don't respect it She know she got it, if I got it, we ain't stressing I know you here forever, sorry to the next chick This one for the fine women, show me how you stepping Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me and Dior. In today's video, we are beating this face because it's just been so long and I'm just gonna get right into it. My editing got better, so any product that I use, it'll be right here or right here. You know, either one is gonna be right there. My products is very dirty because like, I haven't been doing makeup a lot and when I do, I barely do lashes. So like all the makeup that I use, it's just in a box. And then when I wanna beat my face, I just use it, so. That's why it's like dirty like this. So for primer today, we're going to be using Beauty Bakery Hydro Silk Primer. It's shaped like a butter. You probably see me using it in my other videos, but I'm going to be naming everything that I use today because it's not gonna be in the description box. It's going to be right here. So yeah, just keep up. Every other video, I do my eyebrows first, but apparently I forgot. Cause I always come on camera with my eyebrows already done, but it's not done. So I'm going to be doing it on camera for you guys while my face is already primed. <laughs> and I don't want to mess up my edges. So like I'm going to barely put any foundation up there. I'm only going to put like the powder. Like, you know what I mean by the powder? Like when you contour your face and then you blend it out and then you do the contour powder. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be putting up there. Cause I don't got time to be messing up my edges. When your edges don't do this on the regular, you just can't mess it up. We are gonna get right into eyebrows. When I tell you everything is just all over the place. So yes guys, my eyebrows have improved from the very first time that I did them. This is nothing on my eyebrows. Just got them done, they be so fresh. We going close up, I don't even know why I'm like, you know. I think that's good enough. Now for concealer for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Beautiful Bronze. <laughs> yes, I still use the same products. I still can't believe I use the same products. Some shit just don't change. The mirror is mad far and I just did that. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. I mean, eyebrows do be easy when your eyebrows is just done. Like when you just got them done, they be mad easy to do. So, usually I'm supposed to go in the top with like a darker shade, but I just be like, I'm not going to front, like, I be lazy sometimes, like, but the beat always comes out, you know, nice, so, to blend that out, we're going to be using a little bit of foundation, so, before we put the foundation, we're just going to blend this out real quick, you know, it's all light and everything, y'all, the last time I came on here with, like, nothing on my face, not even eyebrows done, was years ago. So this is how I'm looking 2022. Like this is this is me 2022. <laughs> Remember when I said I'm going to be putting some foundation underneath my eyebrows just because like the color is very light. I'm going to be using ColourPop Deep Dark 24N 
tinted moisturizer so it's not really a foundation but like it gives off skin I would use this to beat my face just so I could show y'all but I'm not using this today so I'm just gonna put that right there like then mm -mm. I'm using my hand because I'm gonna blend it out later with the um the brush I'm so messy you know, like that, mm -hmm. that under there. I'm mad messy. Now we're gonna blend that out. So now I'm going to give you guys a close up on the brows, you know, I did that, you know, <laughs> but yeah, so this is how my brows came out, you know, just put the foundation up there just so that, you know, it's not too light and everything, but we're going to get right into this face. So here's a close up for the face beat. My face is already primed because I put that on in the beginning. Um... So I've been looking for this for so long because I just love the way it comes out as like a, a beat. So this is KKW in the shade Deep and we're going to be using it as a foundation. This is um, it's for your body, <laughs> but we're going to use it for a foundation. I was just watching my old videos like, yo, that was a good beat. But it's been a minute. So, we're going to see how this comes out. Even though it's going to be warm. Because it's going to be warm. So, like I said about my edges, I'm not trying to mess them up. So, we're going to get a smaller brush. So it's looking like skin per usual because that's just what that KKW do. So if I don't recall, because <laughs> I always use this, like this is my go-to. <sighs> so this is what we're going to be using today. I'm only going to put a little bit. So I use like a flat brush like this just to like tap it in. Just to tap it in and then something round like this to blend it in. So this is how this side is looking blended out by smudging it in with the flat brush and then going in with like, you know, something fat like this. So this is no contour and it's given like I already put on contour but I did it. <laughs> but KKW deep and born this way toffee undefeated. I usually don't contour liquid I just contour powder but I'm gonna do both today. <sighs> just because. So I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty toffee teas. The shade is Toffee Tees, and I'm just going to um, put a little bit.
Now I'm going to be setting my face using Beauty Bakery in the shade Almond. Set my face. So I don't set that much because I just don't. <laughs> but I think I'm going to set a lot today. Because when I use Pat McGrath setting powder, it gives off like skin. But when I use anything else, it's like a little bit bright. And I think I want that bright under eye right now, tonight. I probably use both. Yeah, I'm gonna use both. I never really used both before. Now, although I didn't put no concealer under here, I'ma still set under here. Cause I feel like that's how the contour pop. Yeah, that's how the contour pops. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. I'm always making a mess. All right, um, now I'm going to be using Pat McGrath, the shade, it says Deep Five, and I'm just going to put this right on top of what I just used. So this is how my face look with the setting powder and the contour and no blush and I don't do highlight no more, I only do blush. Um, yeah. Alright, um, um, so normally I would wipe this off but like I think I like it. I am gonna put just a little bit eyeshadow. That's my shade. Well, not really my shade. Put that up there. It always get oily up there. Well, maybe I just forget about it. All right. I meant to put like a light brown, but I think this brush already has something on it. So like now it's coming off dark, but clean your brushes. All right, I'm going to be putting on a little blush. I'm flash approved. <laughs> so um i'm guessing you guys can hear that so i'm just wait till she's finished what's the same mm -hmm. all right um so when it comes to blush you can use any red color looking eyeshadow that you have because i'm not using blush i'm using um 
I lied. This is blush. <laughs> this is a cheek palette. This is from ColourPop. Um, so a little bit gold fell into it and now it's kind of mixed up. So now it looks like I have highlight on and it's just blush. So I said I don't use highlight no more. I guess God wanted me to use highlight today. <laughs> Face is done. Um, I'm gonna put some lip liner on and then I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera. I got these lashes from the beauty supply store because y'all remember my little phase where I was like, I don't feel like wearing lashes no more. It's just too much work. It takes up mad time when I'm doing my makeup. I could just do this and put some mascara on, but I'm going to be wearing my lashes today just cuz. So I'm gonna line my lips just to do it now. Done. Nah. So I'm going to put my lashes on off camera and then I'm going to come back on. I feel like I'm missing something that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to put some um, dark eyeshadow under here just so like the eyes could pop. And I can't do that on camera because I'm going to start crying and I don't want y'all to see me mess up my face. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'll be back. Okay, so lashes is on. Beauty supply store lashes. Like I told y'all. Um... So I'm just going to reline my lips just a little bit darker. It's giving 90s, right? That's what I like. I'm stuck in a phase for real. Like, 2022, who is you? I'm going to be using NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Taramisu. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I'm just going to put a little bit. My favorite lip combo. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little bit of Paper Pansy from ColourPop. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to reline. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm not missing nothing. So this is how the beat came out. And um, I can say that this is kind of better than what I've been doing. And I feel like it only came out looking this good because it's being recorded. Like it does that. Like when I'm not recording, it just regular beat. And when I am like this. <laughs> but I hope you guys like my hair too because I am feeling it. I'm feeling the baby hairs. I'm feeling everything about it. It's giving 90s. I had to put on my 90s earrings. Could barely feel them. And yeah, this is how the beat came out. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to, I'm not going to list everything, but this is going to be fun to edit because everything that I use is going to be right here. Even the butter gloss. Yep, that's the butter gloss right there. <laughs> yes, um, make sure you guys like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe because. Let's talk about it. It's really, it's going up there, you know. I'm not going to front. I learned a lot with this video right here, like, you know, recording and doing my makeup because I don't ever use two setting powders. And I realized one was light and one really gives off, like, you don't have no setting powder on. And that's what I did. I mixed it up. But, yeah, it feels good to learn something new. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to y'all for giving me views. <laughs> but... Yeah, bye guys.